What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna talk about the Appalachian Trail versus the Pacific Crest Trail. <laughs> All right, first I wanna talk about terrain. Now, the Pacific Crest Trail is definitely a smoother trail than the Appalachian Trail. Uh, it's graded for pack animals, so it never goes above a 12% grade. But depending on the conditions that year, the snow can definitely play a big part in that, and you might find yourself basically going up the side of a snow-covered mountain trying to make your own trail or find a trail. So that is something to keep in mind about the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, the Appalachian Trail, you're gonna find yourself bouldering at times, climbing up metal rungs and rocks. Uh, it's definitely a lot steeper at times than the Pacific Crest Trail is. And to also note on that, or to talk a bit more about that, the Pacific Crest Trail basically avoids the summits of peaks. So it's just kind of a smooth winding trail uh, the entire way. Whereas the Appalachian Trail, uh, the running joke that we always had was, when in doubt, go up. Because the Appalachian Trail makes it a point to take you over every peak that you hit. So you'd basically wake up in the morning, look for the highest mountain and say, okay, that's where I'm going today. Uh, on the Pacific Crest Trail, there were times where you could see for just miles and miles and miles, and we'd hike for an entire day and see where we had started earlier that day. So in terms of terrain, the Pacific Crest Trail is definitely smoother. Something else to keep in mind is the elevation change. Now the lowest point on the Pacific Crest Trail is in Cascade Locks at 140 feet. The highest point on the PCT is Forrester Pass at 13,153 feet. So the overall elevation change on the PCT is 420,880 feet. So what does that compare to the elevation change on the Appalachian Trail? The Appalachian Trail's highest point is Klingman's Dome at 6,643 feet. And the lowest point on the AT is Bear Mountain State Park at 124 feet. So the Appalachian Trail's elevation change is 464,464 feet, which puts it slightly above the elevation change of the Pacific Crest Trail. So the Appalachian Trail takes it with that one. Next, I wanna talk about trail use. Now, the Pacific Crest Trail has a permit system, so you're required to get a permit to actually hike the Pacific Crest Trail or be fined. So that greatly reduces the amount of traffic that the Pacific Crest Trail is gonna see. Versus when you go and hike the Appalachian Trail, it's a free for all. So whoever wants to go, whenever they wanna start, doesn't matter, can do that. So you're definitely gonna see bigger crowds on the Appalachian Trail, for sure. The other thing that the Appalachian Trail has that the Pacific Crest Trail doesn't have is shelters. So when you're hiking on the Appalachian Trail, about every eight or so miles, you're gonna hit a shelter that's usually located by a water source and has a privy to go along with it. On the Pacific Crest Trail, you don't have any of that. So you're always camping, there's no shelter, and there's no privy, so you're always popping a squat in the woods. Now let's talk about water. So on the Appalachian Trail, it's pretty much a rainforest environment the whole time. So water it was never really an issue for me, except for in the state of New York. But even then, there was a few water caches that uh, Trail Angels left out that really helped out. So there was definitely times where uh, there was water, but it wasn't always the greatest. And sometimes there was longer water carries than usual. Uh, however, on the Pacific Crest Trail, going through the desert, there's not a whole lot of water, usually. So you end up with much longer water carries and pretty much rely, which you're not supposed to, on water caches that Trail Angel set up along the trail. And I think the longest water carry I ever had on the Appalachian Trail was maybe three liters, whereas the longest water carry I ever had on the Pacific Crest Trail was five liters. And the one time that I was carrying five liters, 
we were pretty much depending on a water cache being there because there was no water for another, I don't know, 15 miles or so. So water is definitely more scarce on the Pacific Crest Trail, at least in the desert section. So overall, I would say the Pacific Crest Trail is more difficult in terms of water situation. So the next thing I want to talk about is the remote wilderness of each trail. So on the Appalachian Trail, you're usually one to two days away from a town or a road at any given point in time, with the exception of the 100 mile wilderness, which even the 100 mile wilderness has access roads and things like that that go through it. So while you're nowhere near a town or civilization, there are still roads that get into those remote areas. In conjunction with that, cell phone reception. The cell phone reception, at least with Verizon on the Appalachian Trail, was much more abundant than on the Pacific Crest Trail. On the Appalachian Trail, I might have a day here or a day there where I didn't have service, but it wasn't multiple days on end usually. There was usually some sort of cell reception somewhere. Now for the PCT, it's very remote. You're usually away from towns for five days a week, sometimes even longer, depending on the conditions. Now usually when you get to the roads, it's a much longer hitchhike to get to towns. Uh, in the Sierra, there was a time that we hiked for, I think it was nine days and then we had to take a six mile side trail to get to a parking lot to take an hour and a half long hitch just to get to the nearest town to resupply. So there was never anything like that on the Appalachian Trail. So when you're on the Pacific Crest Trail, you're out there. You are definitely out in the wilderness. Whereas on the Appalachian Trail, I think it kind of likes to say that you're out in the wilderness, and you are. You know, it, it can be dangerous out there. But the Pacific Crest Trail is definitely a lot more remote. You're not getting the same cell phone reception you are on the Appalachian Trail, and you're definitely not as close to towns as frequently. So that's something to take into consideration also. So what are the differences in weather, you might wonder. I would say overall the weather is comparable. Uh, the only real big differences that I noticed was the desert. Hiking in a desert is much different than hiking through the forest that is the Appalachian Trail. So on the Pacific Crest Trail, you've got this really dry, hot desert, whereas on the Appalachian Trail, it's very humid and hot in the forest. Uh, they both get rain, they both get snow, they both get hail and things like that. So in terms of that, uh, there's not a huge difference. But depending on what time of year you're on trail or where you're at, you'll definitely experience more snow on one or less snow on the other. Uh, but really, overall, I would say the two are pretty similar in terms of weather. However, since the Pacific Crest Trail usually has you on a more scenic path, you're more exposed to the elements, which I think can be a lot more harsh than on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, specifically, in the desert, at night, what happens is all the hot air from the desert rises and then the cool air comes down and it creates basically a wind tunnel going through these valleys. So, didn't really experience that on the Appalachian Trail very much. Uh, the other thing I noticed was because you're usually above tree line or there's just you know, no trees around really, uh, you're a lot more exposed on the Pacific Crest Trail, so if a big thunderstorm comes through, it can definitely get sketchy. Uh, there was one time that I was really high up in the mountains, and I did not want to be there, but there was really nowhere else to go, and a lightning bolt struck like a hundred yards away from me, and I felt it in my chest, and 
I hid like a little dog underneath a rock while it was hailing because it was just terrifying. It was one of the most terrifying experiences of uh, any hike I've ever been on. So I would say that while the weather is comparable, I think the PCT's weather is slightly harsher. However, in terms of rain, you're definitely going to get a lot more rain on the Appalachian Trail, which it's not going to kill you, but it'll definitely make you more miserable. Another thing to consider is the scenery, what you're going to see on each trail. Now, on the Appalachian Trail, you're basically in the woods the whole time. Uh, there's a few exceptions up in New Hampshire where you're kind of above tree line and stuff. And, you know, there's some kind of grassy plain areas at times on the Appalachian Trail, like in Pennsylvania or uh, Max Patch kind of thing where you're on a bald or something. But most of the time you're in the woods. I mean, they call the Appalachian Trail, or at least Virginia, the Green Tunnel for a reason. So on the Appalachian Trail, it's definitely more dense forest, whereas on the Pacific Crest Trail, you get these just massively epic views uh, where you can just see for miles and miles and miles you know from just desert to the Sierra uh, you really you, you're definitely gonna get more epic views on the Pacific Crest Trail for sure uh, you've got huge peaks with snow on them and it's just unbelievable in terms of scenery on the Pacific Crest Trail. Now, I'm not saying that the Appalachian Trail isn't absolutely gorgeous, because it is. Vermont is one of the most beautiful states I've ever been to in my life. I took one of my favorite pictures of all times in Virginia, and just overall, it's kind of apples to oranges on what you consider to be beautiful, but if you're a big fan of being in forests, the Appalachian Trail is definitely the trail for you, I would say. The Pacific Crest Trail, if you want grandeur, uh, is definitely the more awe-inspiring vistas. So I would say overall that the Pacific Crest Trail probably has better scenery because you get so many variations of, of terrain. You get the desert, you get the jutting peaks of the high sierra and the forests of oregon and washington so i would say overall the pacific crest trail has my vote for most scenic trail uh the appalachian trail is extremely beautiful though so it really depends on kind of what you're looking for in terms of that but the pct has my vote on 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 the beauty all right, next thing I want to talk about is wildlife. So what are the differences in wildlife on the Appalachian Trail versus the Pacific Crest Trail? So on the Pacific Crest Trail, you've got elk, mountain lions, coyotes, tarantulas, scorpions, uh, black bears. Uh, on the Appalachian Trail, you have black bears and moose, uh, wild boars, and raccoons and things like that, uh, uh, porcupines. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that I'm leaving out, but the only big differences that I would say that you'll probably most likely run into would be the moose on the Appalachian Trail and the raccoons. And on the Pacific Crest Trail, you're gonna run into, you know, scorpions, tarantulas, uh, elk probably and mountain lions are more prevalent although I never ran across any but there were some in camp at times and there was people all around me seeing them uh, one thing that I didn't really feel on the Appalachian Trail that I definitely felt on the Pacific Crest Trail was like something was watching me at times like I was just kind of being stalked so you know, I definitely think that mountain lions are out there, and they're they're really elusive. But you know, stay away from those things. And uh, while I didn't see any wild boars on the Appalachian Trail, stay away from those things too, because those things will tear you up. But 
Yeah, they they both have their own unique uh, wildlife to them, so that's really cool about each trail. So the last thing I want to talk about is cost. Now you could probably hike both trails for the same amount of money, but in my personal experience, the Pacific Crest Trail was more expensive. And one of the reasons that the Pacific Crest Trail was more expensive is because the towns are fewer and farther between. So you end up staying at places that are more expensive that know that the through hiker bubble is coming and have higher rates places as well as uh, stores that mark up products specifically uh, sold to through hikers. Now I know the Appalachian Trail does that too, but it wasn't as prevalent in my opinion as it was on the Pacific Crest Trail. Uh, the other thing I noticed about the Pacific Crest Trail is some of the places that you're staying are kind of resort towns. So finding a cheap hotel option is more difficult at times on the Pacific Crest Trail versus the Appalachian Trail where you're kind of just staying in these podunk towns with these cheap hotels most of the time. And there was always competition to hotels and if rates were high in one area, you could just hike for another day, hit a road and then have cheaper rooms. That wasn't the case on the PCT. On the PCT, your, your towns are more remote so you're pretty much stuck with the options that you're left with. So overall, I would say that you're probably gonna spend more money on the Pacific Crest Trail than you would on the Appalachian Trail, but you don't necessarily have to if you're really good at budgeting properly. Me, eh, not so much. I went way over budget on the Pacific Crest Trail. All right, well there you have it. The Appalachian Trail versus the Pacific Crest Trail. Hopefully you guys found this informative, and if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and happy trails.